no matter how you enter your purchases, you'll have to use the same building blocks to record the transactions. Let's look at a check as an example. When you record a purchase in QuickBooks, you must track who you bought the goods and services from and what you bought. This information is essential to tracking your expenses. QuickBooks tracks this who and what information on separate lists. You track who in the vendor center. Vendors are people you buy things from. When you set up a vendor, enter their address, contact, and other information here. When you buy something from a vendor, QuickBooks automatically takes this information and puts it on the check or bill for you, so you only have to enter it once. Now, where do you track what you bought? The answer is, it depends. There are two lists that track this information. For most purchases, you'll use accounts to categorize what you bought, like computers, an asset account, or advertising, an expense account. So, when should you use the Items tab? Use items if you're buying inventory or paying for job-related costs. In other words, you want to assign the cost to a job for reporting purposes. Consult Help to learn more about items and how to set them up. Remember, use vendors to track who you buy things from and accounts or items to track what you buy.